Hello everyone and welcome to another BI Consulting Services video. My name is Brad and today we're starting the first video in a series where we'll look at how you can easily design a chatbot using Power Virtual Agents. We'll build an internal chatbot that you can deploy in Microsoft Teams, allowing your employees to quickly find HR, IT, sales, and other resources. And in a later video, we'll look at how you can design a customer-facing chatbot utilizing Power Automate that interacts with users and can even log information on an intake form for your sales team to use as leads. Let's take a look. So what exactly are we talking about here? Well, Power Virtual Agents provides a low-code platform for developers and users to create AI-powered chatbots to deploy inside and outside their organizations, including across various channels like your website, mobile app, Facebook, Microsoft Teams, and more. The use case we'll be looking at in this video is building an employee-facing chatbot in Microsoft Teams that connects internal users with assistance resources. We'll walk through the entire construction process, testing, deploying in Teams, and then actual usage in that environment. Now, before you get started here, you'll need to have a work or school account. I'll leave a link to the licensing page, as well as links to other helpful resources for this process in the description below. Once you have the correct access, you can go about connecting to Power Virtual Agents in two different ways. One is directly through Teams. First, navigate to your Teams app and click this three button menu. Then, search for Power Virtual Agents and click to add. From here, you can start building your virtual chatbot. Another way to go about this, and the process I'll use for this walkthrough, is by visiting powervirtualagents.microsoft.com. Click on the Start Free button, then log in using your credentials, and click Get Started. You'll then land on the home page for the Power Virtual Agents app. Here you'll see any bots that have already been created, as well as some helpful learning resources down below. We're going to begin by clicking the Create a Bot button, then Build for Production. Go ahead and give your bot a name, then select the language your bot will use and click Create. On our new bot homepage, we have a couple different options in the sidebar. We'll start with Topics, where we'll begin building our chatbot by suggesting potential user input phrases and designing responses. On the Topics page, we see a dozen or so preloaded topics. Now, we won't be using these, but they can serve as great reference points, especially when you're in the early stages of building out your first bots. For example, if we click into Lesson 1, we can see the structure of a simple chatbot. We've got some phrases defined here that will trigger the chatbot to respond with this message, followed by an additional message displaying store location hours. Back to our topics page, go ahead and click new topic from blank. The first topic we're going to create is a simple message response that will connect employees who need IT support to our internal IT help desk. So let's go ahead and name this topic IT Help Desk. Over to the side here, we have some helpful instructions on how to go about creating trigger phrases. These are short sentences that the bot will use to understand the meaning behind the input and provide relevant responses. For our case, since we're wanting to connect employees to our IT Help Desk, we might use phrases such as, how do I contact IT support? Reset my password. Update the operating system on my device or how do I connect to the VPN? I'll load in some additional ones that I think we might need. Now let's design the message we want to use as the bot's response. To acknowledge the user's question, we'll start by saying, thank you for contacting BIC support. Then we'll direct the user to IT help desk. Click save and we've built out our first chatbot topic. Let's test out this topic by clicking Test Bot. Here, we can enter in phrases to see how the bot will respond. If the bot understands the phrase or question and determines it falls within the response parameters, it will successfully display the message we defined. If the bot cannot determine what the phrase or question is referencing, it'll ask us to try again. 
This testing will help ensure the trigger phrases you design are funneling the user into the correct message flow. If you find there are additional phrases you'd like to add or modify, you can always do that here, then save your bot, and test again. Once you're finished with this topic, we can head back to the topics page. Okay, let's say we have sales offices in a couple different locations across the United States, and maybe contact information for these locations is difficult for employees to find. IT is fielding lots of requests to relay that information. We can build a topic to bypass this and automate responses. Let's call this new topic sales locations. Here are the trigger phrases we'll use. Now, let's say we have regional sales offices located in Charlotte, Chicago, and Seattle. Since users are likely trying to find the contact information for only one of these locations, we'll design our responses to give the user the choice to select which location they want. For our message, we'll acknowledge the user by saying, I'm happy to get you in touch with a regional sales office location. Then we'll click this plus sign to add a new node. Since we'll be asking which location the user would like, we'll click Ask a Question. We'll use a multiple choice format and define the different choices as each of our locations. When we do this, the bot creates a variable to store the user's response. Let's rename the variable to something that makes a little more sense, like sales location. Each of our conditions below will read the variable, then provide the correct message in response. So when the variable is equal to Charlotte, we'll write the message to provide the Charlotte office contact information. We'll do the same for the Chicago and Seattle locations as well. Finally, we'll save and do some testing. Something the test bot provides that I've found helpful is the ability to follow along as the bot changes topics. By switching this feature on, we can watch as the bot navigates through the sales locations topics and answers our question, then switches over to the IT help desk topic when our question triggers that flow. This can help you diagnose process and phrase issues. Finally, I want to be sure we cover how you can deploy your chatbot to your team's environment. The first step is to publish your chatbot. You'll also want to do this every time you make updates to your bot, like changing the trigger phrases in your topics or making edits to your messages or questions. Next, click on Go to Channels, then Microsoft Teams to make your chatbot accessible in the Teams environment. Here, you can also make edits to your bot's appearance, add a description, choose whether to allow users to add the bot to a team, and a host of other settings. Availability options enables you to share the bot in a couple different ways. We're going to click on Open Bot and launch our Teams environment where we can add in the chatbot. And there you have it. Our bot has been published to the Teams environment where we can begin interacting with it right away. As I said before, if you ever need to make changes or updates to your bot, remember to republish after making those edits. And if you ever need to disconnect and delete the bot, you can do so by clicking back into the channel's configuration page, clicking Disconnect from Teams, and then deleting your bot from the chatbot's menu screen. That's it for now. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll walk through building a topic structure that incorporates a flow and power automate to store information in a SharePoint spreadsheet for employee access. As always, if you have any questions about this content or would like the BIX team to cover a topic in a future video, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from our channel, and thanks for watching!